In today's video, Sindel and I are going to be testing this needle felting pizza kit by Pin Felt Studios. Mm -hmm. Happy National Pizza Day! Happy National Week Pizza Day! Welcome to today's video. <laughs> yes, we are. And we're going to be testing this pizza kit by Pinfelt Studio. Uh -huh. My name is Iceland and I'll be your fiber artist host. And Sindel. My co-host. And on this channel, Snowflake Forest Felting, I share needle felting videos, have needle felting tutorials, and share product reviews. So if you're new and this interests you, please consider subscribing. And if you want to know more about anything you see here on this channel, be sure and check the links down in the description below this video. Mm-hmm or leave a comment, I'd love to connect with you there. And as always, if you think these videos may help someone, please share them where you can. And I want to give a huge thank you to those of you who have subscribed since my last video. There's been 200 or so of you, so thank you so much. Your support means more to me than I can tell you. Now, let's get to checking out this kit. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. We'll start by showing you the kit here in the box a little closer. I love how it looks like a real pizza box and the checkered print on the edges. We'll open it here and show you everything inside. Here is the menu. Yep. Super cute. And then down here at the bottom is her link to her YouTube channel where you can find the tutorial on each type of slice of pizza you could want to make. There is a 10 video playlist, and I'll be sure and link that for you too. And then inside here are some photos and options of the types of pizza. Let me see. Ooh, I so you can customize that. your toppings. What kind do you think you want to make today? Uh, this one. The pepperoni and olive or the pepperoni and pineapple? Both of them. Okay. You can even make fun little mini pieces or the crust. Mommy, can we start now? This one okay. looks fun. We're really close to starting. We'll be seeing. So then on the back is a little bit of a guide as well, talking about your needle felting needles, the supplies, and how it all works. And super important down here to note, you can get 10% off her needle felting kits with the code DELIGHT. Yay, yay, yay! Okay, so first thing inside we're going to pull out is the foam surface. Thank we're going to need that. We have this pizza looks, topping colors, this olives, looks like pineapple. Ocean. This looks like ocean. Yep, and cheese. And then we have our crust colors. And then there's also the sauce colors. And the and two pizzas, and a little piece to make some basil. This looks like glass. And then the needle felt through needles, and yep. look, there's two. So we each can do one. Yep, so, and there's wines on them. And then there was also a Band-Aid included. However, you took that out when we did our unboxing video, and this was in it. Felting equals happiness on the I'm back, super make a cute. Pizza. And then, if you have never felted before, caution, these needles are super sharp and they can break easily, so you're going to want to felt gently. And then inside, you can see there's a nice little tissue for the pizza. So let's put this perfect little pizza box aside. Isn't that so fun, Henny? Yeah. I love that. Like, how complete is that, getting a pizza box? Yay! Let's do it! Let's do it! And do you know what else? Yep. Is this perfect timing for National Pizza Day, too? I want to make it. Okay, let's give get me, our needles off. Give me mine. I want this one. So we watched a little bit of her videos already, so we have an idea here of how it's going to work. Give me, give me, give me. <laughs> and I have an extra foam piece over here that I'm going to put my needle in while I'm working with Sindel on hers. I'm gonna set it aside for just a moment. And remember, we're gonna have this kit linked for you down in the description below. You can go and check out more later. And don't forget that code DELIGHT for your 10% off. Now, let's get to testing and felting this kit. Yeah. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna fold over this pizza crust like this. Yep, and take your needle and start piercing it straight in and out. Watch your fingers. Watch your fingers, mommy. <laughs> 
Sindel is a little young to be needle felting, but she's really, really eager to do it. Always watch what you're doing there. So I would say anywhere between my, 8 or 10 is a lot this. better. That's going to be for the basil. I want of an to age to needle felt. Basil first. Sindel will be four in a couple months. She's pretty young. The and then you also want to make sure it's you're picking up your project like often salad. so you're not completely into your foam piece and it getting stuck onto Ow. it. You can see the wool fibers Ow. already sticking in there. So it is important to know you don't want to do too much felting along this top part of your crust or it will flatten it out. There, it's kind of starting to take some pizza shape, isn't it? Is it pizza shape? It's very close. It's nice that it comes cut already for you in a nice triangular piece. It looks like Somewhat it. felt it already, so you can move a little faster. Mommy, can you give me Have a that? nice guide. Can I use that one for the basils? I want to do the crust now. Mm, yep, I think we can add some crust now. I got the crust. This How'd you know that was the right color? Yeah, this is the right color. Then we're going to do these colors. Yep. Wow, it looks like fluffy air, like fluffy snow. So soft. It's really nice wool, isn't it? It's very good quality wool. No, can I? So now we're just going to want to take, oh, we no. don't need all of it. But can you pull this into a few pieces? Good job. Break it up into two more pieces. There we go. That's probably good. That's enough. So you've pulled some of these colors of wool apart. Yep. And some of the cheese, but I think we might need a little bit more. Yep. And I'm going to pull it apart like, into small pieces. Okay. Now you want to lay them across the top here. I think I want to do the crust. This color? Yep, that color goes first. And we, not all at once. See, so we're just going to lay little pieces across the top here and felt them on. Watch your fingers. Good job. <laughs> So as I'm working here a little bit on this, I'm having a hard time not wanting to switch to this needle felting surface. It fits my pizza a lot better. I'm just used to working on this size of a surface as well. It's not that big of a deal because of course I'm only working on a small portion of the pizza at a time. And then I love how she has it so you can add a little bit of the red sauce into the cheesy part of your pizza crust and layering it just kind of sporadic to help give this a more realistic look like some burnt cheese and then you're going to layer the more tan crust color over the top i really love this meshing of color because it makes the item look more realistic and then just felt that on the needle seems to be working wonderful things are felting up just fine i can tell it is a much smaller needle than I'm used to working with. You can see how much more barb area is on the one that I usually use here with the mushroom top on it compared to this other one. Not a lot, but a little difference. And so this needle is a heavyweight needle. I'm sure this is more of a fine weight needle. So when I'm piercing, I can feel this really pulling. And you can almost see my pierce marks compared to the other one. Also, as we're going along here, I think this is a great starter beginner kit because pizza allows for a lot of creativity and you can sporadically place things and it still comes out great. You don't have to be super precise about any lines or, you know, a face or even have proportions of, say, an animal, like a dog or a cat. It's just a nice, simple, triangular piece. You really can't go wrong. So it's a great step in to seeing if you even like needle felting and a great way to learn about how the wool works with the needle and just begin to start creating. And if you're thinking about needle felting, then you probably should have already started needle felting. It's such a fun craft. 
Another thing that's nice about felting this pizza slice is you're not having to create something super 3D. You are just starting from the top. So the bottom isn't something you have to be concerned about how it looks, giving you just one side to focus on. Use a little bit of this lighter color to give the crust a little bit more of a flowery dough look here. This wool really just pulls apart so delicately and soft. So if you've been watching my channel, you know most of my projects, I do them step by step as well. And so I love that this is all broke apart into each little step. Sometimes I'll move ahead onto one project and then come back and finish it up like this crust needs some more felting. But I'm going to go ahead and add the red sauce now. And then she's included this darker red color black mesh. This is just wonderfully blended together. Add along the edge here. It doesn't have to be a super straight line. A little bit of variation is going to help give it more of that poured on sauce look. This red is so vibrant and beautiful and for the most part this wool is extremely clean. Sometimes you'll find parts of the bedding like straw from the sheep or depending on which animal and where it was living. And it's nice she's included enough for you to make both pieces. Another great thing about this pizza and having this in the template, it gives you a place to start instead of completely starting from scratch. Next, she has you take some of the white wool included in the kit to make some cheese. I didn't super felt my sauce down all the way. It will continue to felt as I add these cheese parts to it. And then of course, you can remember you're gonna be adding toppings. So that's gonna change how it will look too. perfect for it look at that thank you each one into a little ball maybe we'll add like three on here this color is just the absolute perfect color for a piece of pepperoni one. thank you so we make this one off to the side how many pieces should we put on three yep cheese you want to put it on there where you think it should be okay now yep Should we also put some olives on here? Yep, this is the color. This is the color. Be careful. Black. We don't want this olive to be too big. That looks about right. It'll felt down some. Can I do Roll one? Roll it. Can I do one? Yep, you can get a little olive piece. Felt it, pick it up lots. Oop, it's picking up the other fibers. Let's use the other side. I am having a little bit of a hard time not felting on this back side because I don't want the wool coming up and through. I'm really used to felting like my creations from every angle. Yep, we're gonna do that one too, and we'll test different toppings on that one. What else should we put on this? Should we make some little mushrooms for it? Yeah, it is. Which color is it? We're gonna experiment and try some of our own little mushrooms on here. Little dance. 
we need to take a hint of the brighter red and a hint of the white and we need to add that onto our pepperoni pieces to give them even a little more color here make them look a little more realistic now let's add a little bit of the green pieces here for the basil i was thinking a little bit of green might be yes for the basil nice addition to this pizza Alright, that's looking pretty awesome. I think we just need to finish melting it, huh? Get all the fibers tucked away as well as I can. And then we're going to start on the next one and test some other toppings out. Is it all finished? Uh, no. What needs done? Uh, Kadeem. Yep, we're going to cut any of the extra fibers away that didn't get felted down and in. Careful. Just like so. Yep, super careful. If you do this in an area with great lighting, it works best. And is that it? It's all done? Yep. Now we need more. Yeah, now we need to make more. So here it is, up close. There's the back side. And we need a pizza box. Just a super fun little project. So this piece we could turn into the crust or even a mini pizza by cutting this top part off and then the bottom part you would use to make that mini slice and the top part to make the bones. We want to test more of the toppings with you guys like making some of the basil with this one and some of the pineapple because I love pineapple on my pizza. Do you like pineapple on your pizza? Uh, I actually don't like pineapple. Like just like pineapple. Oh yeah, you don't really like pineapple. It's one of my favorite fruits, and I'm curious. Do you like it on your pizza? Drop it down in the comments below. I really like pizza. Yep, we really like pizza. So since you have seen adding the crust and the cheese and the sauce part, so we're just gonna go ahead and speed this video up so you can get to testing some more of these toppings with us so you can see as much as this kit has to offer as possible. And as you can also see here, there is plenty of extra wool still. So if you want to go on and make even more pieces, even though you don't have one of these, and you have any core wool, it would not be that hard to do so. Now that all those things are felted on, it is time to test making these little basil leaves. I'm a little nervous to cut these because I don't want to mess them up. However, this allows some wiggle room. This is a decent amount. You'd have enough to do multiple pieces here. And they're not going to be very big because we want these leaves to look realistic on this pizza. Really super tiny. it so I don't get all those white fibers into my foam piece. The instructions have you roll some of this green wool between your fingers really well and felt a line down the middle of your basil leaf. But you're not going to go all the way to the top. Pull this extra away some here. Do the other ones as well. super simple to make. Then you can pick your placement on the pizza. And she has you use a little bit of the white wool to cover it so it looks like the cheese is on top of it as well. And then the basil's added. Now I'm going to test some of this yellow and making the pineapple wedges. This is not going to take a lot of wool because you don't need very big pieces of pineapple. They're going to be just a triangular wedge shape and then she also instructs to use a little bit of this darker orange wool on it. So we'll get to felt in this little wedge shape. She also instructed 
to be careful to not pierce too far into your wool or the little fibers come out the other side you're going to want to get it nice and smoothed out because this is such a tiny item it shouldn't take too long to felt that's another nice thing about all these pizza little toppings is this is a fairly quick felting project you shouldn't spend a lot of time making it Color variation in this wool is really nice for creating these little pineapple wedges. Making very tiny things like this I think can be a little harder to make if you are a beginner and if you don't felt these well enough once you go to put them on they will just collapse. You want to make them nice and firm. Be super careful if you do this to get it out because that pulls on the tip of the needle and they're so fragile they can break. These are looking pretty perfect for pineapple wedges. Let's include them on this piece now. Might be a little big compared to my basil leaves. Pretty similar in size. So I'm gonna have this little chunk down here in the tip. And then the instructions. Have you take a little bit of this wool. Just a very small amount. Right along the edge. One thing that's nice about having paper instructions compared to video instructions like this comes with is you are able to easily look at your instructions sitting right next to you. Whereas this, you could be flipping back and forth between the videos a lot. I would recommend if you're getting this kit and doing this one, watch the videos before so you have an idea of how to make them. And if you're watching this, you're getting a pretty good idea. So lots of help here and on her channel as well. And then you can even take a hint of this little yellow and felt it onto the pineapple like that. Give it a little more color striation going through it. Take a few bits of this darker orange and place it throughout the pizza to give it kind of more of a cooked cheese look. If you had any purple wool on hand, you could make some purple onions to include on your pizza. Or maybe even if you had a little lighter green, you could make some green peppers. And then lastly, felt on it a little bit more and trim the excess fibers away. Alright, and I am done with the second piece here. I'll show it to you a little closer. Just a little basil pineapple pizza. And then to see both pieces here together, they came out actually pretty similar in size. So look at that. How fun is that? What an awesome felting kit. I absolutely loved this. This was so much fun. And I know Sindel did too. And so this is what's left over with the supplies. There's still plenty to work on a handful of other pieces if I wanted to. The wool is wonderful quality. I loved how this one had the variations to help give this even more of a cheesy look. This was perfect for the pepperoni and the pineapple. Just such a wonderful felting kit. And you're even set with a nice foam piece that's going to last you through many projects and a needle as well as a backup needle in case you accidentally break one while you're felting. And then lastly, have to put the pieces inside. Look at how realistic that is. And you could even just store the rest of your stuff right on inside if you want it. It was so fun. Did you enjoy making it? Uh-huh. And look how great they came out and they look. It's perfect. Perfect. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed today's needle felting pizza kit test and review. If you did, please be sure and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, share our videos where you can, and if there's something you'd like to see me felt next, drop it down in the comments below. I might just make it. We'll see you in the next one. Happy felting! Happy felting!